Pitch Brand Talk, where insights meet innovation in the world of marketing. Today, we are thrilled to have with us Ms. Chandrika Jai, Marketing Director for Lenovo India, the same brand we am sure have used a laptop of once in our lives. So, welcome Chandrika. Thank you so much for being here today. Thank you very, very much, Ritika. It's always a pleasure talking to you and I'm happy to talk to you again. Thank you so much. And uh, I mean, uh, you've just come up with a new series, the Brave Art series, and it's a season two of it. So congratulations on that, first of all. And I also wanted to understand the objective behind launching this Brave New Art 2.0. And uh, how does it sort of align with the company's overall marketing strategy? Right. So, <clears throat> Ritika, Brave New Art, why we're pleased to bring season two, right? But the objective of Brave New Art continues to remain uh, being able to bring up authentic, uh, engaging, useful content to the youth or the Gen Z audience who is of interest to us. Uh, and that was the fundamental of why we even came up with the idea of how do we merge art and technology together? How do we bring multiple influencers together to create content that could not just engage the audience, but find a, a great way to explain what our feature and what our technologies are and demonstrate that feature uh, and technology to the audience. So that continues to remain our objective. We've just found braver ways of bringing that information in uh, season two, and we're very, very excited about it. Right. And I'm sure there must have been some insights from season one also to this. I mean, how was the response like to Brave New Art 1? And uh, what was the, some key insights that you gathered from the first season? And uh, how is that sort of, you know, helping you push the boundaries further when it comes to this season now? I think that's a great question, right? Because it uh, <clears throat> allows me to talk about so many things that we are very proud of. So Brave New Art was an experiment. While we wanted to uh, get the attention, build authentic content and stuff like that, we brought multiple artists of different dimensions together. Uh, we merged the analog form of art with digital form of art and said, what can come off it? Uh, and what we learned is this works brilliantly. Uh, we learned that not only did you produce engaging content, it was content that our audiences really, really loved. Like in season one, uh, we had explored being on Hotstar. And I think in three days of us being on Hotstar, we had 10 million views on Hotstar. And that's just one of our mediums, right? We saw a lift in brand. Uh, we saw a lift in, um, we did a VLS study with Hotstar and we saw a lift happening there. Uh, the kind of engagement that we saw on the content pieces itself was very, very high. So it gave us the confidence to say that this is successful. This is the right direction. Uh, it is content that's doing all the jobs that it's supposed to do. So right. it just gave us the courage, therefore, to become even braver in uh, season two. So the learning was to say, right direction, push the button a lot more and take it to uh, newer places and newer technologies. Uh, when it comes to marketing strategy, I mean, what are the strategies in place for promoting this particular series this uh, this time? You mentioned the Gen Z and the audience, but you could give me some detail on that. Yeah. And uh, uh, what is the marketing mix also for this? Sure. So the audience, like I said, right, continues to be the Gen Z audience or who we call the creator audience. But let me give you a little bit more context to why those audience. Like India has about 160 million uh, young uh, technology users who are of interest to us. And uh, with the onset of social media and the various platforms that have come about, everybody believes that uh, they are a content creator. And we are content creators in our own right, right? Um, we also have data that says that people spend up to nine hours a week creating content. So wow. this is the kind of audience that we want to appeal to. And we do right. believe that yoga is exactly that device that has to be taken to these audiences with yeah. the kind of uh, features that the yoga device has. You know, we have AI engine class, we have OLED in their display, we have the ability, we have something called as Lenovo X Power, which will like give you uh, immense multitasking abilities. With all of this power packed in the device, we want to be able to take this device to the audience um, and therefore uh, the media mix. So if we're okay. speaking to the younger audience, the obvious media mix becomes uh, social. Uh, YouTube is an, another area that we're doubling down on. And our experiment in season one, which we are uh, redoing, is uh, Hotstar. So we started off being in Hotstar in season one. We've gone back to being in Hotstar in season two and it's working really well for us because uh, we've... Uh, uh, in January, we are the top ten. Uh, uh, ten. Uh, we are in the top ten list of uh, English shows watched on uh, Hotstar. 
Mm-hmm. Right. Uh, you mentioned Hotstar. My next question was going to be about this, that how are you sort of leveraging Hotstar to maximize your visibility and engagement also? Because I mean, there are certain advantages, you know, when you align with a digital streaming platform rather than just putting it out on your YouTube channel. So how is that working out for you? It's not just only Hotstar. I think we should look at it holistically, right? Like I told you, the mix has... Uh, a tremendous yeah. amount of social, it has YouTube, and yes. then it also has yes. Hotstar. So within Hotstar, we have the ability, much like what Connected TV brings to us, uh, to target the right kind of audiences um, and uh, the ability to serve up the content in multiple different ways. So there are the there's the teasers, and this time around, we have the full content also that's put out there for people to view uh, out of their own interest. Uh, which makes it uh, for us a lot more uh, viable because you actually see people picking up that content. Yeah, yeah, that, that's interesting. Uh, in a broader context, when we look at it, how does uh, Lenovo India sort of uh, envision content pieces like this uh, to build the brand's narrative and also its market position? I'm glad you're asking me that as well because, you know, our learning with Brave New Art has been that uh, um, content is extremely critical for us to be able to tell our story. And going back to the fundamentals of marketing, right? Marketing is about being able to tell a story. Um, and if you can tell that story in ways that are meaningful to your audience, then that's the best way to do it. So content is a very large portion of what we want to do and we are doing. Uh, if anything, it's only going to get bigger and better. Uh, I see this evolving not just for yoga as a series. I see us doing a lot more uh, for Legion, which is our gaming brand. Lock, which is our newest uh, kid on the block and we're extremely excited about it. So we want to build a lot more content on Lock. So you'll see uh, content uh, and influencer marketing play a fairly large role in how the brand tells its story as we go forward. Right. Uh, I mean, we talked a lot about the Gen Z and how this uh, series in particular is directed to the young millennials or the Gen Zs. But uh, there's also a lot of studies coming up on how this demographic is sort of changing how consumers have been uh, sort of consuming content also and also changing with brands. So in that yeah. context, uh, what do you think sets Lenovo apart from its contemporaries? Because there are so many brands out there and all vying for the attention. Ritika, I, uh, I think you're, you're very right right everybody is vying for the attention of this exact audience uh, you are very sought after the entire generation is very sought after and i think the, the things that brands have to keep in mind is that uh, this audience has a very clear point of view it's an extremely intelligent audience um, and if uh, if brands can be one among you by understanding what works what ticks what does not tick uh, that will go a long way for the brand um, and uh, then also being as honest and authentic as possible uh, goes a long way with this audience. So standing out among this audience is not easy, like you said. But these two things that I'm talking about is one being authentic and being uh, one among you by understanding exactly the what works with that audience goes a long way for this audience. Yeah. And in the same context, how do you sort of leverage your brand identity and values to connect with consumers, especially in diverse market segments? We are talking diverse demographics. We are talking diverse regions in India. So how does that work out? Look, I I feel like brands are like people, right? Brands have to have a personality and that personality has to stay um, irrespective of uh, who you are talking to. You might decide to go to different mediums. You might decide to build different kinds of content or different types of advertising. But the brand personality, much like I would have a personality and you would have a personality to build. And for uh, Lenovo, uh, we have the personality of being honest. We have the personality of being bold. Uh, We have the personality of being disruptive. So that continues to stay. And to give you an example, I think Brave New Art is exactly that, right? Us being able to not just create an idea that we where we bring art and technology together, but if you see season two, uh, the kind where we've pushed it, uh, we've bought a Kalari artist and then we bought a tilt artist together and say, can you both put together something that what can a Kalari artist do and how can that be translated into 3D art? And right. what kind of content right. can come from there? How visually great can that content be? What right. kind of technology is required for that content? In my mind is not just disruptive, it is innovative and it is bold, which is exactly the brand personality. So it should reflect in my mind in everything that you do. And I, in my mind, it should also be consistent because uh, brands like people should have the same consistent personality. We are developing, our, we are delivering our promise to you each time. Right. Absolutely. 
uh, looking ahead what are some plans or aspirations for the brand in india and uh, how do you plan to stay relevant and captivating to its audience for the long term so um rithika globally lenovo is the number one pc brand right um in india we want to get to that global position sooner than later uh, and to cement that the brand plays an extremely large role so our ambition for the brand in india is uh, um audacious if anything else so this year lenovo intends to make a mark uh, intends to be out there uh, and be seen i will not divulge more information than that as we are going into the into the year itself but i'm hoping uh, you and i will get to talk a lot more about uh, some of our upcoming work i mean i'm looking forward to that and uh, i mean while we we spoke of how lenovo is going to be aggressive with what it's going to do so uh, how do you see your marketing strategy shifting for the next few years sure so our marketing strategy is this is something i think we got on the journey of uh, Uh, a couple of years ago itself so lenovo as a company has been investing a lot in our products and in our brand um and uh, since last year we've been doing a conscious effort to bring that to uh, a lot of people that will be a continued effort so whether that is lenovo uh, through our products like yoga and legion and lock or whether that's lenovo the brand that brings multiple uh, pieces of technology to you will still be of interest and you will see us building that through uh, our products through the course of this year and hopefully in the years to come right brand is critical for us and we want to establish that brand and support the business in the market as a marketer if i had to ask you to chart down pivotal trends that will take shape this year what would they be um from a um so i'll i'll break that down right from a technology standpoint i think it is the year for technology companies uh so i see ai being a really really large trend that we're going to build on uh lenovo will have a very um um well, how can i say uh, a dominant uh, voice in this area we are a company that believes in ai for all and we have a lot of products solutions and services in this area that's going to come come into play and we also believe that we're positioned to be able to talk about it so the trend of ai is going to exist in the category and uh, lenovo will have a large voice in this uh, is one thing that i would like to call out uh, from a marketing standpoint i do see and a medium standpoint i do see uh, influencer marketing becoming uh, uh, more and more important and you know with macro influencers and micro influencers coming into play uh, and now nano influencers coming into play it's an extremely in, in, uh, interesting segment that's allowing brands a lot of uh, opportunity with content um so from a medium standpoint it's uh, influencer marketing and from a tech standpoint i think it's going to be uh, ai anything else that you'd like to add apart from whatever i've asked um well um if you have already watched the content that we produced in brave new art uh, then you know what we've done there we've uh, brought uh, better artists to the floor more visual relief it's great content it's great work i have a personal favorite among the two uh if you want me to talk about it i could but otherwise i think we've covered a fair bit of content i mean thank you so much anvika for doing this today great insights always a pleasure so thank you ritika thank you so much and uh, a very happy friday <laughs>